obviously have to lower the volume on my headphones as well, but here we are, folks. I want to, before I actually do anything, that's not what I wanted to do. Before I want to, before I do anything, I want to just see how good it sounds. Um, that doesn't sound too bad, I don't think. That's, that doesn't sound terrible. Okay, that works. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it. Fuck it. I'm leaving it, and then, uh, let me just, we're live with shiny objects plus. That sounds great enough to me. I'm gonna just do it anyway, and if people have a problem with it, screw it, you know? Man. Just add a thing. People will see it. Shine in object was challenge boy Great. I don't think there's anywhere else I can really do anything. I think that's fine. Cool. Yeah, no, that's a very juicy $50 right there, Zeppy. Welcome on in. Very much appreciate it. I'm gonna... Nah, because the... I'm, I'm gonna have to spend it on that door and make it the only exception, because if, if I don't, I'm not gonna, like... I'm, I'm perfectly fine with making that the exception, just because I, I want to I wanna actually do the rest of the game, and, you know... There's not a lot you can actually do in here. I could have actually, like... I probably could have made, like, a... a modified copy of the game where it spawns me in the actual hub, but at that point I'd rather not bother. Uh, no. At that point I'd rather not bother. But uh, yeah, no, I'm, we're doing this today, I, I don't even care. I might actually be able to get a good fucking video out of it as well, so I, I don't mind. And if I need to, I can easily just say, well, it depends on your perspective, you know? Because, I mean, let's be real, like, if... Without doing that door, it is not fucking possible, but that's fine. My only, my only other thought, come to think of it, is actually, like... My only other thought would have been clipping through the door, but then at that point, I don't think you can actually do it. 
because I think the funny thing is, you, I think the only way you can lag clip is with a cruise boost, which I, you know, it's very obvious, but I, I can't do that either, but, you know. I'm just, I'm just gonna go, go along with it, to be honest. Thankfully, I did have someone basically, like, encourage me to do it they just said you're gonna have you're gonna have to make it an exception so i'm i'm making it an exception yeah that's all it took it's took one comment for someone to just be like yeah go for it it's nice time actually getting to do this now though honestly i'm i'm glad to be just like back in the fucking game again it also seems to do well for on the vods channel so i mean i'm it's something, so I can I can download the VOD, upload it. People can watch it. Blah blah blah. Right, okay. I yeah, I'm I'm just, I'm just gonna go to JF, screw it. I'll only be able to do Oh yeah, shit, I went to the other thing, my bad. I'll only be able to do JF up until, like, JF03, like, not even that much of it, to be honest, but I'm... It's fine, I can do it. I also kinda, I kinda wanna do some hub skips, to be honest, just, you know. I wanna skip to the second and third hub areas, just so, I don't know, I, I don't need to, but I wanna. I I don't remember where the fucking trigger is, so I'm just trying to avoid it. Uh, usually this gets used right here, I think. I think you're also supposed to use... I think you're also supposed to use, uh, it didn't work. Do you know what? Who cares? Unless I want to redo it. I swear that's how you do it. I know you can see up the gate in JF03 with a frame perfect jump. Yeah, um, I, I did. Um, I was doing some, like, cruise boosting last night, and I think you can only do, like, um, I, I managed to do it with a cruise boost, which was nice. I actually managed to get a bit of a faster one last night as well, so it's kind of just like, I, I don't know. I did it on the rocks very close to the gate. I don't know how else, uh... I could do that. Because I remember I was also looking in the level for some sort of, like... Just, so, some, just some sort of, like, platforming I could do, maybe, but then I also realized, oh shit, I probably could use a cruise boost here, which I've never been able to properly fully do, so... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna redo that again, just because... I swear I'm supposed to get the save icon there, unless I have... You know what, I'm gonna check, actually. Nope, my memory card is there. That's fine. I don't know. If, if it happens again, I'll leave it, but, you know. Because technically, I can actually just do that and then move on move forward. I'm trying to remember how I actually did that. I don't remember. I might have to do all of that again, but you know what? I might skip out on the other two houses this time just because I want to get into JF. It's really nice having this, um, 
Aspect ratio code active, by the way. It's so nice. My friends didn't activate it for the for the video, but that's mainly because I never showed them. I, I probably should have done that, shouldn't I? Nope, not what I wanted to do. You know what? Let me collect this while I'm here as well. And then I can just go to the taxi pad again. At least I haven't reset my spawn, actually. But even then, I don't need to, because, you know, it'll just... Whoop, there we go. Like, I'm glad... I, mean, I am glad that JFO3 is and Like, I'm glad it's still viable late game. I think I spoke about it once, but I, I did actually give it a little test run last week, I think. Which, I mean, yeah, no, to be honest, I'm... Great. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't know if it's still viable if you die, but I'm just gonna roll with it. But, um, yeah, no, I, I tested it, I think. And thankfully, I think there's still a decent amount of stuff you can do, but I think that's how you're supposed to do it. If it's not, I'm just, you know, I'll just leave it if it fails, because otherwise, there we go. I was going to say, we're going to be here a while otherwise. I would do VMS, but I have not touched that sort of, like... I wanted to actually do that eventually, but I have I don't think I've touched stuff like that yet. I'm also not a speedrunner either. I just like to do strats just to say I can do them, I guess, but... Like, I did, I did actually watch a tutorial last night for the sake of cruise boosting just to try out the JFO3 stuff, but... It's also nice to explore the game in a way that isn't, like, the vanilla or casual fashion. I think I gotta go this way and then forward. I think? Yeah. Yeah. Up until last night, I wasn't able to do, like, a proper cruise boost at all. Like... I was only ever able to do, like, I can very easily activate a cruise boost. I can very easily do that. It's not something I have a problem with, just because doing it on the same frame is, like, really easy, but... The problem is when you have to speed it up. Like, obviously when I speed it up, it's not the best either, but I, th I, can, I think I can do it enough to a point where it might be able to help me. Welcome on in, iPi. Welcome on in. Uh, also, yeah, no. Uh, JFO3 with a damage boost. I, I'm going to take a stab in the dark and guess that you'd probably do that near the floating Tiki sock, maybe? With the Tartar or something? I don't know, to be honest. Unless you do it a different way. Get wrecked. We... I am gonna make it obvious to you, iPi, but we've- we've had to... Uh, uh, we- we had to... Make pineapple the only- the exception of- of this whole fucking challenge thing, just because. But, you know what? I don't care. It's my run. I'll do what I want. I'm okay with it. Honestly, yeah, no. Fully fucking... 
SpongeBob becomes Mr. Krabs. It, he's... Nah, I can't do that. I can do that, but I need to... Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still gonna destroy them just because, but, like... Plus, I mean, a lot of them require it anyway, but, you know... I just, I just don't, I just want to avoid spending them, which, you know, it should be fun. It's a bit of a, I do actually want to do other challenges eventually, but, damn it. But, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, this one, this one's just an easier one to start off with, just because, you know, I want to, I want to just have fun with it. I feel like I should be able to do this a lot sooner. I'm not gonna lie. Because I know fully well I can do this. I normally successfully do the... Uh, the easier version of it. I don't, like... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I can save state and just go back up there if I need to. I'm not going to, but I'm, you know... All the pressure is on now that I'm live, typical. I don't actually feel that much pressure at the minute, to be honest. I really don't. Nice. Sick. And I think I have to jump over there. There we go. Yeah, I I haven't been able to roll up the, like, rock formation yet. But, oh well. When I get... Uh, cruise bubble, I can just get the thing anyway, so I don't mind. Yeah. That's, that's valid, actually, Zeppy. I probably did word it a bit weird, but... I'll happily, again, I'll happily collect them, but... I'm, I'm, I'm just not spending, just because... Like, at that point, if I'm not going to destroy all robots, I may as well do damageless, which, you know, that could also be another challenge in the future if I want to. Funny enough, I do want to do damageless movie just to say I can do it, but... You know. That is fine. Speaking of which, if this was damageless, it would be over by now. Damn, I do not talk, normally take this much damage. You know, chat, I actually had a decent start to my day. And it's because of the fact that I saw Spyro a Hero's Tale has, like, a fucking multiplayer mod. I'm not gonna lie, that's my main reason for actually being in a solid mood today. Mainly because I've been wanting something like that for so long. Like, my friend Sarek actually wants, wants that as well, and he basically sees the game the same way I do, and it's fucking dope. Like, I feel like I've been wanting... I'd, I've, I've, I think that's the weird thing about me. Or kind of, I don't know, probably not weird thing, but... I feel like I've been want... I feel like I want multiplayer mods for, like, so many games, but then you don't get them. Because people don't want to work on them. Like, there's obviously that one for BFBB, which I'm glad exists. I'm definitely glad it exists. But then it's not, as far as I'm aware, obviously, it's not really, like, stable. Or it might be stable, but it doesn't look its best when you play it or whatever, but... Okay. God damn. Okay, we can go back to JF soon. I didn't even mean to do that.
Modding multiplayer games into in modding multiplayer into games is kind of the equivalent to getting Doom on absorbed hardware for the sixth generation. Yeah. I I th I can't I think that's the also the, another weird thing about the multiplayer thing. It's the fact that I can't make as much comments about it really cuz like yeah, like I think it's fantastic, but I have no idea how hard it is to make one. I al I always hear I always see the same words thrown around like decomp, reverse engineering. Fucking you have to know C++ code, or hex editing, or fucking, you know, like. And then, and then people also say, like, there's a lot of people that also say, oh yeah, it's impossible for this game. You can't create a multiplayer mod for this game, no way. And then someone ends up making it happen, proving that it's not impossible. So it's, I don't know, it's it's just like, I get why people say it's impossible purely because, like, it's like Skyrim together, like, there were so many people saying it was impossible one day, but then someone spent, one, one of the main devs in there spent however much time on it to get it to what it is today, and then they also ended up going to a different game, but, like, you know. Which, again, I, I, again, I can, I can see why people say it's, like, it, it consumes you a bit, I think, but, I don't know. I believe, I believe, I, I believe once decomp for a game is complete, anything, anything is possible because you can code whatever number, yeah. It makes me, it makes me glad that the decomp for BFBB is, I don't, I mean, I don't even think it's like, I think it's paused at the minute, right? But I'm glad that there's been some sort of work be put into it just because like, when we get the PC port, it'll be fantastic. And then other people can make their own sort of stuff. It's like, it's like when, It's like when the modding community wanted to make the Clash thing, like... I don't even know if you know what that is, Zeppi, but it was- I think it was supposed to be like a race mode thingy. Which, I love how they wanted to make a race mode first, before they made, like, the groundwork or foundations for a multiplayer mod. Like, I don't know. I think it's a cool idea, but it's also a bit ambitious, I think. It makes me wonder if, if, um, it makes me wonder if Clash is still going on, actually, come to think of it, because, I mean, we don't even hear anything about it, unless it's so private that they just, um, you know, so private that they just say nothing, but... I'm hoping I can get this cutscene skip today, because I have a knack for failing it. Like the amount of times I've respawned at the beginning of the level just to then slide all the way back down again, like... I'm just gonna skip the sock for now. Uh, Clash... Pretty... It, it's... It was pretty much just... I think... From what people explained about it, it was supposed to be like a multiplayer type of thing where you race around trying to collect as many spatulas as possible I think like someone mentioned it once and yeah I think that's what they said I, I, I we've never really properly heard about it in the server though that's the thing but yeah maybe Speaking of which, there's a strat here. I don't know if I want to do it, but... Clearly not. Okay. Let's 
Like, I remember... I remember someone in the server spoke about it during my time. And I, th I think I've been in the server since, like, 2019 or something like that. Apparently, I've been in there since... I think my profile probably says I've been in there since 2021, which doesn't sound right to me, but it's whatever. But... Nice! I'm proud of that one. Usually, it takes me a lot longer. That's a shot right there. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, no, I think that's pretty much the premise of it. Uh, yeah, I think it might be, actually, yeah. Like, one person collects it, but everyone else isn't able to. I, I, yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. Which, I will say it again, you may as well just create the foundation for a multiplayer mod first, and then make... and then make the um, adjustments needed, but, you know. Or maybe they have and they just never said anything about it, which is fair enough, but... Oh shit, nice, okay. Speaking of which... I really want to add Sandy to Jellyfish Field somehow and sort of, like, add shit that, you know, that would actually let her just have things to do in this level, because I think that'd be really cool. Like, I really want to create a mod like that where the caves is literally just Sandy. Excuse me. Like, in Industrial Park, like, I, w I, I put, like, a Texas hitch here, pretty much, and I liked it. It's it's such, like, a small change, but I, I liked it a lot. And then, when it comes to this pressure plate... I think I added, like, a floating Tiki. I think here I add like I added like a floating tiki with a stone tiki on it, and then the stone tiki triggers the pressure plate. But that's how I did that. But I do, yeah. I I I you know what? I love what Rehydrated did though. I like what they did with the characters, where at the very least, even though you would probably require the console commands to do it. You could, at the very least, play those characters in those levels. Yeah, no, they they genuinely allowed it. I mean, to be fair, like, I say console commands, I, I, you probably don't need them. Just like how you can play as Patrick and Pineapple, but like, console commands just makes it that much easier, is, is the thing. And I only know because I made a video about adding split screen to the main story for co-op, but... You know. I'm just gonna say this now. I, I'm really glad that, like, there aren't any, like, shiny object clams to purchase in the caves, because... For a second there, I thought I was forgetting about the fact that I was actually doing a challenge. Like, granted, I, I know what I'm doing here. Like, I haven't spent a thing, but... To be honest, it actually makes me wonder how many shiny objects I'll have towards the end. It makes me wonder. I don't think I'll have the requirement for the crab spats, though, but you never know. Yeah, I... Since we are here, I can touch back on it again, but... I I did the cruise boost thing at the bus stop, pretty much. On that rock. I, I did it here, and then I bashed up here, and then, you know... Yeah, I, I couldn't get it every single time, but I know I can, so... It's something. 
And to be perf and to be perfectly honest, I did actually watch a tutorial for the for the sake of like exploring whether or not I could do it, but which I'm okay with. It's it's you know it's part of exploring the challenge, but. Uh, there we go. There's definitely a balance to strike when coming up with challenge playthrough ideas. Too hard, and it's basically impossible. Too easy, and you might as well be doing a cat. Yeah. Yeah. It's not wrong, though. Like... Uh, I need to get a spat. Like, that's another thing as well. Like, a lot of people on YouTube do challenges where they don't jump. They make it so they're not allowed to jump, which in BFBB, you, you know, you could get away with that, I think. You might be able to get away with that, depending on whether or not you allow bashing. But, right, okay, I think that's basically the only thing I can get at this point, isn't it? Because if I go up here... If, if I go up here, I'm collecting shiny objects and then getting to the thing, but um, I don't think I can do much else here. Ten spats, though. I'll take it. Uh, Yeah, there's nothing else I can do here. You know what? I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'm just like... I think that's another thing as well with, with doing jumpless, like, for a lot of it you would have to do, you'd have to get a damage boost somewhere, which in a lot of places that's easy, especially if you're, if you're, you're a watcher of speedruns, like JFO2, although actually, um, in the JFO, in the JFO2 speedrun, actually, you do have, you do technically jump. You do technically jump to um, get the thing, but you know. Right, I'm gonna leave that till last because I want to just do this. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not as clued up on tool-assisted speedruns. I will say this, though. I I watched that shift video where he spoke about the holy grail of BFBB speedrunning. Which was basically just... If you haven't watched the video, it was about getting the King Jellyfish Jelly in a speedrun, which you can't properly get the spatula for, so that's why they never touch it. But there was one dude who uh, who got it because he was using a tool-assisted thing or what of. He was using a tool of whatever, so... Yeah, we're missing- we're gonna miss out on Sea Needle, that sucks. We're gonna miss out on Sea Needle, but that's fine. See, yeah, I, I love that video. To be honest, I do actually really like his essays. To be honest, he does he does them really well. Um, I'd love to add Patrick to downtown. I think the downside to that is the fact that the level isn't designed around him. Like with Sandy and JF, it's a bit easier because at least you can still platform, but. I mean, in in the regular speed run without the tool, without tools, it's it's not been found yet. But there's a sock over there on the opposite side. I'm gonna leave that for now. I know I could easily get that, and I'll leave it for now. Okay, and then. Thankfully, the good thing is about this sort of run or challenge or whatever, 
is the fact that I don't need to spend... I think most spatulas I can get without spending anything, which is fantastic. Makes me curious about a mod that removes every single shiny pineapple spatula requirement. Oh, you mean just in pineapple? Yeah, I wasn't going to get that, that's fine. There's a strat for that, but I don't think... Um, I don't think that's viable for me at the minute. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say to that, actually. Yeah. I think it would it would remove a lot of the limitations for what you want to do, but I you know what I really want? I still really want a fully connected map mod where every map is just connected. I would love that. Minus minus like Murmelair just because a, a teleport to that would make more sense. And if you re remove the map of that, it would at least save on performance a bit, I think. Rock Bottom could be excluded as well, just based on, like, based on how you get there, but, you know. I speak about that a lot, come to think of it. Like, I've just realized, I do actually, I feel, that's fine, actually, whatever. Wow, I went really low there, okay. Yeah. There's, 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 it's, I remember I asked, um, I think I asked this more or less about that in, in the rehydrated modding community. And they basically said the same thing for the remake, so. It's, to be fair, it is valid. It is actually valid. It does make me wonder, though, like, imagine if we had the PC port, like, imagine if that would be possible. Or maybe, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just trying to think, really, because, like, it makes me wonder if you could add, like, a, maybe, like, a sort of, like, line of code or something where if you leave Jellyfish Fields, the robots in Jellyfish Fields despawn or get disabled for the sake of saving on that performance, or maybe, like, the enemies get despawned and the, 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 the shiny objects and everything everything that's sort of like like that can get despawned to save on performance, but I don't know. An open world mod could work, but you'd have to very specifically design the game around the limitations of having everything in one map. Yeah. Yeah. That's mainly that's mainly why that's mainly why I'd suggest disabling everything in an area where your your character isn't. But then obviously, I don't know, because at that point you could take that logic further and maybe disable maps that aren't in your in your in your view or camera or whatever. Like obviously, when it comes to Mermelair it might be a bit easier to run because you could easily just exclude you could exclude it from the full map you know so that's mainly i don't know there's also the whole day and night cycle thing i can't reach that but that's fine whatever i'll do it the normal way it's that one That one, I missed it, that's fine. I remember someone once told me I should speedrun this game. Like someone once told me on, on like a review I made. I think I actually I think they made it on my actual BFBB review, but they told me I should speedrun, and I kinda looked at that comment and thought, yeah, but do I wanna? Because, like, don't get me wrong, I think speedrunning would genuinely be, like... I I mean, speedrunning any game is probably a refreshing way to play it. But then... 
my thing is I want to spend more time playing the game, you know? Like, I remember I watched Purple Foundation once and I said this to him. Like, I basically said I want to spend more time playing the game, but then I also... The thing with speedruns is the fact that you probably would have to reset in certain areas if you fail. And then at that point, it's just like, is it worth it? You know what I mean? Like, because you could easily spend an entire session just stuck in early in the early parts of the game. And I feel like you could, like, I don't know, like maybe you could get bored of it, but... There's not a lot we can do about editing the actual level terrain yet. Yeah. Yeah, you're very right about that. Thankfully... Thankfully, the, the vanilla terrain... The, the files for them... Like, like, luckily, they are all separate. So, like... Maybe in, in like, a, a mod or, like, a PC port or mod or both, you could just, like, uh, you know, you could, you could pretty much, again, like I was trying to say, like, maybe you could have them, like, say, for, again, say, for example, you go to Sand Mountain, if you're in Sand Mountain, maybe you could disable jellyfish fields, like the geometry and the robots and the enemies and literally everything in it just to save on whatever, you know? I normally, I normally hit that. Why, do, why didn't I do that? Yeah. I don't know. I just... Again, I've 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 mentioned I've tried strats. I I like the strats. I there's a lot of strats I love. There's probably a lot of strats that I don't care enough to learn about, but it's it's also just like I don't know. Like I never I never thought I'd like again with with what I was saying earlier like I, n I never would have thought that I would have been able to get a faster cruise boost. But then, I again, I was practicing in it, practicing it in JF and the hub world, and, you know, I did actually manage to get it. Even though, obviously, it's not as fast as how Shift does it, but I... It's one of the faster ones I've actually managed to do, and I was actually quite happy with myself. Like, once I did it, I was actually really fucking excited. Speaking of which, is there anything actually... Is there anything I can actually do here? Because that's... Shiny object requirement. I can't get that because it needs the sea needle. Um... Why does the steering wheel look like it's breathing? I know it's like rotating itself or like the angle on it's sort of like moving around, but it, I don't know, it looks so weird. I've never noticed that before. I'm wishing I didn't now, but yeah, I'm gonna have to save that for later and then I can get those two eventually. Those two, I mean, and then these two, they're sea needle. Uh, I'm also, again, it's, I'm also collecting the socks just so I can actually hand them in. Because that'll actually just give me a bit of a boost, but... Uh... Oops. Um... Hang on a minute, chat. I'm 
I'm hoping I didn't mute something by accident, so I just pressed the square bracket. Uh, okay, we're cool. It probably looks weird because it isn't spinning around like the other hood elements. It's just bobbing. It's just bobbing. Yeah. You know what? You're right, actually. Yeah. Actually, let me let me go to Jellyfish Fields. Does the... Does the jelly do that? Okay, it kind it kind of just rotates back and forth, but then it bobs up and down. I mean, fair enough, I guess. Okay, I can I can genuinely do these now. I'm glad I managed to do the the hub skip strat. I'm gonna take a break from more ambitious mods for now. I always think pretty big, and so I am stuck with them for a while. Yeah, I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot in the modding community. Like when I when I first mentioned my mod idea to people or my video idea, I kind of I've 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 probably mentioned it already. I'm I'm gonna repeat myself because that's just what I do, but. It, it was Cooper that said to me to start off with one level, and I kind of just did. Because I've heard that full game mods can be pretty demotivating, which I, you know what, I shouldn't be surprised. It's, it's, it's fair enough as well. You have to, you know, create all these levels, you have to come up with, like, potential challenge ideas a task for a spatula or a sock or a mix of both. You have to make sure it's entertaining for the person playing. Like, my main objective for my mod was like, yo. Well, originally it was just to like, make something and have a bit of everything, but then, you know, it became, yo, let's make this as difficult as possible for a new, a new BFBB player, pretty much, so it's, I don't know. Did I even collect that? I think I did, didn't I? But... Yeah, you know what? That's also valid, yeah. You, even, even for a smaller project, you still have to think about a lot. I, it makes me glad that, like, because ev eventually I want to I want to make a patty wagon level mod to be honest. I don't I don't even know what I'm going to do for that yet, but I'm glad that the overall mechanic exists cuz then at the very least it's I feel like I feel like the patty wagon might actually be like easy to um it might- I think it's overall just easier to create mods for, kinda. And I guess it's the same with like a combat arena challenge, like the most you have to do is create a platform or an area that your character can go through. For the combat arena you just like, you know, fight. For the paddy wagon you just, you know, drive. I forget which one it is, I can't help but feel like it's this one. No it's not. I love how the wrong one is... Oh yeah, right, I need to do that. Again. I don't even know why I went all the way over there, to begin with. That's another thing about this game, actually. I feel like it's the same for Rehydrated as well, but I feel like Rehydrated, like, truly messed up my knowledge of the game a bit. I love Rehydrated, I'm probably one of the only people who doesn't complain about it. But I think I think Rehydrated actually changed the tower puzzle. I think, um... I think, I think Rehydrated changed the tower puzzle and it's messed with my memory of how to do this puzzle. I think I kinda remember them. 
Like, I think it's the outside one for here. And then the next one is the outside one, but... Also, yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Like, dude, like, paddy, paddy wagon mods, like, there needs to be more, you know? I, I agree with you that there is, like, an untapped um, potential there. It's it's like with the whole multiplayer mod thing, and I'm I know I've brought it up already, but imagine imagine if that mod was still being worked on and it was in a really good state, and then also imagine what you could do with a mod like that and how you could create a mod around that. Because I thought about this last year, and I thought like, man, it'd be fucking great to have a BFBB mod that requires two people. Like, create puzzles that require one person's input, but also another person's input. In like, put two people in a separate room to each other, and then just make something like that. I don't know. It's, it's something that I actually thought about once, and, you know... I kind I feel like I need it for a, a lot of games, but yeah, no, I do agree with you though. There's a lot of like untapped potential when it comes to patty wagon shit. I, me, I, I'm also gonna be a bit transparent, not completely transparent, but you know, but me, me, Cooper, and Double, even TLL. Kinda, we kind of talk about it a lot, but we we want like a we want so much better mods for the community, man. Cause like, there's there's not a massive amount of people that go out of their their way to create something so huge and amazing and whatever. Which to be fair, not everyone's blessed with the ability to create amazing things, but at the same time, like. I I would love like I remember when BFBB mix was like this really awesome thing. Nowadays you kind of replay it and you think it's okay. And like I still really enjoy BFBB mix, but then I also like It's like movie mashup. I love movie mashup just because it's so like different. It just feels brand new and whatnot and I love that. Like, I'd love, I'd love to, do, and then obviously Zeppi does your mod as well with Strawberry Lake. And I think Cooper's actually excited for Clock Dimension. But, I just, I feel like we need, like, more, like, really big mods, to be honest. Or, or not really big mods, but, like, I want mods to just do so much more, to be honest. Because they're just so fucking cool, the ones that already exist. It's, it's, you know, I should also clarify as well, I guess, but it's it's also nice to see what other people can bring to the table, even if it's just a tiny mod for their first one. Like, I remember... I remember I... Like, when I... Like, I, I'm looking back on the mod that I made, and you know what? I actually really liked my mod. I'm not gonna lie. Like, for a first mod, it is a pretty, it's a pretty good one. I'm not going to say it's amazing, because it's not, but I think it's actually better than average, to be honest. Mashup is complete and releasing in two days, so there's something coming out very soon. Heck yeah, dude. That, that's actually a good point. Shit. That's actually a good point. I, I will... When it comes out, I'll be streaming it. That's 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 for certain. Because I, I streamed the like original release for it or the demo or whatever. And from what you were re released last time of of the mod, I I absolutely loved that. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it, what the the full thing is about. 
I'll even play it from the beginning and whatnot, because, you know, again, it mashup was seriously awesome. Absolutely loved mashup. I'm still actually... I'm still actually yet to play Strawberry Lake, to be honest, but... You know what, Zeppi? I actually think you're gonna do a great job with, um, Clock Dimension. I feel like I need to play more mods from the community as well, so I, I, I might actually play those two. Like, it might be good to stream those. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a drink of water. I think the only thing that needs done is is that someone's playtesting the Xbox port to make sure there's no issues. Oh yeah, you made an Xbox port. I, <clears throat> yeah, to the, to, to the people that do, like, the Xbox parts and stuff, like, I, I don't think I could do it with a mod of mine, to be honest. But, I mean, I think the funny thing is about all of that is the fact that it's, it's not really expected, is it? You don't, people don't expect you to make an Xbox part because, like, if you want to make if you want to emulate the Xbox version, it comes with its own issues, so you may as well just stick with Dolphin anyway, but... After Clock Dimension, I'm probably going to do some smaller stuff or personal projects for a bit. I... I don't blame you, to be honest. I feel like... Even, even, even Strawberry Lake, like, I, I imagine what you did with Strawberry Lake was, like, so much work for that. And I imagine Clockwork, or Clock, I, God, I can't speak today. I'd imagine Clock Dimension is of the, the of the same effort, effort levels, so, yeah, I don't blame you, honestly. To be, to be perfectly honest, I could not imagine, like, I could not imagine working on a mod, like, every day, or whenever you have free time, or whatever. Or, like, you create one mod, but then you instantly go on to the next one or whatever. I feel like there's people in the community that do that. I, I don't understand it, to be honest. But I guess that's because I prefer to actually play my games and, you know, create a mod for them more than anything. Plus, I mean, like, I guess that's another thing as well. Because after a while, it might feel like work, which you, you really don't want that to happen, really. I'm fine with dying there, that's fine. Uh... Speaking, speaking of actual mods though, like Movie Mix, I... I really hope Movie Mix is gonna be good. And you know what? The funny thing is, I... In terms of the soundtrack, at least, from what we've heard, I think I still prefer BFBB Mix. But... I hope, at the very least, Movie Mix sort of just, like, creates, like... Uh... Like, I hope Movie Mix just creates some really good, like gameplay segments for us, to be honest. Like, I'm looking forward to... Although, actually, no. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it, actually, because I think I heard someone say that there's going to be no patty wagon levels in Movie Mix. I could be wrong, but... Which I am just going to say it now. I feel like that's a missed opportunity to, to create some really good stuff in the movie, but... I think I'll let, I mean, I'll probably end up streaming that as well, to be honest, when it comes out, but... You know. Just 
Speaking of which, uh, on the topic of the actual challenge we're doing, uh, GL03, uh, Gulagoon Pier. There's the tower that requires shiny objects, which I am just going to say this now. I know the strat for that. I might use the strat for that, because it means I don't have to spend anything for it. So you know what? I might actually try and make that work. I think the strat for that is also, like, really straightforward, thankfully. So I, yeah, I feel like I kind of have to do it, but... Yeah, and then there's that. Thank you. I'll pretend you didn't avoid that. Okay, and then... Yeah, that's that's really valid, honestly. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of people that actually, like... I think there's a lot of people in the community that might want to, like, acquire the same skill set as yours, to be honest. Like, with the player models and stuff. Like, whenever I open Industrial Park, I, I sometimes just think to myself, like, man, I'd love to just make a different character playable and just make it work. Like, I just wish it was, like, easy every single time, but... That's the downside with modding. It never really is, is it? Or at the very least, there's easier parts to deal with, like, you know, the industrial park stuff, but then there's also the more difficult side of it, like, you know player model stuff, like the scripting and whatever else. Yeah, I I don't have any experience with modeling either, to be honest. The most The most I would do in terms of models, for me at least, is that I I I normally would just grab like a I'd normally get, like, a, a model of a character from models resource and then just try and work with that, but... Because here's the thing, I mean, you could definitely make that work, I bet. I mean, I mean, that's literally how I got Plankton from White's Camera Pants. Like, you could definitely make that work. And I mean... Funny thing is, I did actually manage to put Plankton in, like, that version of Plankton in, into BFPB, but... And it was actually over Sandy, but, you know, T-posing, but... I can't complain about it either, because the model was still in the game, even if it was textureless, but hey-ho. Uh, yeah... Blender, ble I think, yeah, no, Blender is a big roadblock. I've tried to use it, and I've thought about how I can do certain things in it, and then I just, like, I don't think I give up. I feel like I kind of just look something up, and then I don't end up doing it. Um, hang on a minute. Everyone's got their strengths and weaknesses as creators. It's all about trying to, yeah, pretty much. I completely agree with that. Like, it's like I was saying earlier, there's only so many people who are naturally, like, naturally skilled at something, or they have the raw talent to do something, no matter what they do. But then the rest of the, the rest of those people who want to actually get good at that, they have to practice, they have to actually do shit just to say, hey, I can do this, but it, I didn't do it straight away, I did it over a good amount of time, and I'm proud of myself for doing that, blah blah blah, but yeah. 
My weakness is all the complicated links and events. Yeah, I, I also get that as well. I remember... I remember when I was making my mod, I did not know what I was doing at all. Speaking of which, I might save state here just so I don't have to keep climbing up. But I remember I was making my mod and I had, I had no idea how links worked. So... I think what I ended up doing is I ended up looking at other links in the vanilla game and I kind of just kind of went from there. I mean... The most I did was add a trigger that changed Spongebob to Patrick, and I made it so that the spatula appeared after defeating X amount of robots, you know, so... God, this is going to take me a while, isn't it? N nah, because you know what the worst part is? The worst part is, I did this after like three tries last night, and I was so, like, happy about that. Like, I did this off screen after like three tries. I think I'm also rushing a bit, which doesn't help. But... Yeah, the, ser the server's definitely useful for that, I think. I'd, at the very least, I would hope they're useful, because otherwise, you know. What's the, what's the point in being a community if you're not going to help each other, you know? Nah, because I can feel the collision there. I can feel the collision there. Is there, like, not an easier way I can do this? Because I feel like I tried doing this angle before, but the collision's a lot lower down, I think. Yeah, you have to do like two full jumps or something, and then... I don't know. Although I didn't do much... I think you have to jump immediately as you land or something, but... I'm getting better with clock dimension, especially because the blue switch is easily the most complex thing I've made. And I've also made the extra costumes have their own special- ooh, nice. I can't wait to see that then. What I- what I actually really wanted was to- I can't fucking do this yet, can I? I- I- I mentioned it to a private group, but I wanted to make like a- I wanted to make like a Sonic Heroes-esque mod where- Obviously, there we go, nice. Like, where you have the the three main characters, right? And obviously in Sonic Heroes, the other two characters follow the main one around. You control the main one, whatever. I'd love to have that in BFBB. Like, I've been thinking about that a lot recently and how much, like, it'd be nice to have, like, NPC versions of Patrick and Sandy. And they could, like, attack shit for you and follow you around in the game. And I think that'd be just so cool. I think Double H actually said that it wasn't possible yet, but... I can't help but feel like there's got to be some way that you can do that, but... Oh my god. Nice. I think that's the funny thing as well, like, it is a- it is kind of, like, a... A bit more of a basic idea, but you could genuinely turn that into a template and let people use it, honestly. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, there we go. I'm glad I got that tower spatula, by the way. I wasn't expecting to get that. I also knew I could do it, so it's nice that I did. Giggity goddamn. 
We're doing really great in uh, Ghoul Lagoon right now. And then obviously I can get the tower, the actual tower spat. Then we can get the first boss. Which should be good. Which, speaking of which, I might actually leave, um... I might leave the bowling sock in JF until I have cruise bubble as well. I don't know why I picked that up, but whatever. I can't wait to take advantage of cruise boosting for JF when I get it. Cruise boosting. Shit. To be honest, I didn't even have to do that, did I? But oh well. We're doing pretty well so far, I'm not gonna lie. Again, I know it's a really, like, easy challenge. I know it's a really easy challenge, but, you know, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm kind of getting on it, because it's, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, to be honest. Like, this current one is fairly, like, straightforward and simple. I still don't know what I would do after this, mind you, but... Damage list for either of the games might not be too bad. I think that would actually be really cool. Um, excuse me. We'll see, though. Uh, let me minimize that. I'm currently unaware of the strats used here. There's a pole. I believe there's a pole somewhere that you have to use. I think it might be this one, but I don't actually know. Um, oh, there actually, no. I think you use the pole in the next two phases, I think, but I could be wrong. Nice. I don't actually know if I go here yet, but screw it. I don't even think it's here, actually, come to think of it. Yoink! I think it's either here or the other one. Yeah, and I can actually manipulate the boss into throwing the head over to, over closer to here, but I'm not aware of how to do that either, but that's fine, I don't care. God, you know what I've just realized? I can't do Sand Mountain. I, I can get like, t uh, actually, maybe not two spatulas actually, but the worst part is I can only get like one or two spatulas in Sand Mountain and that really sucks because I, I love Sand Mountain. Like one of my favorite parts, if not the top favorite thing I can do in this game is sliding. Like I love the slides in Sand Mountain. Eat. Man, I did it again. God damn. Wow, I've never seen such an electrifying man. There we go. Sup, bitch. Let's hope I can hit the button under your head this time. Because I continuously 
have that problem for some reason. I used to be so good at the accuracy on that, to be honest. Like that. What did I just say? Sandman is out of access. Also can't do prawn until you get crucible. Yeah, pretty much. That's actually a good point. Can... Can prawn get hit by the cruise bubble? I've never actually tried that. I keep doing that. I hate the fact that I keep doing that. The downside... Yeah, there's a lot of murmur that I can't actually do, come to think of it. Because... The thing is... I would need to get all the buttons for Prawn, but then you might be able to get around that. Uh, you can't do this the, the towers. Yeah, you're right. You're definitely right. Um, we got it, boys. Yeah, there's not much, um... I'll do this the intended way, why not? Um... Yeah, I can do the funnel machines, I can't do the barnacle boy thing. Pressing the buttons would be really pointless, come to think of it. But... I mean... I don't know, because the funny thing is there's a strat for getting into prawn without the button, but the way that you use that strat is by literally going to the the cylinders in, in Mermela. I don't remember what the spat's called, but like, yeah, no, you can kind of do it, but you need that requirement. Oh yeah, no, I don't have anything, right. Like, maybe... Maybe, maybe if I did, like, a cruise boost, I could access Prawn, but I mean... Thankfully, I can actually complete, um, Prawn as normal. If I can actually get access to him, I can do that normally, it's, it's cool, but... Speaking of which, there's a good amount of, um, socks. Well, there's three. There's three spats I can get, but, you know, there's a, there's a good amount of socks to have in my thing. I'm gonna leave you there, just because. I think I can actually... Yep. I am missing out on a sock, though, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna get... I'm gonna go here, activate the task, and then I'll return... I'll go back and get the sock. Because there's one on a bungee. That I can get. The Cause at the very least I can I can warp. And that's gonna be really useful. Because I should still be able to access um I should still be able to access that little, like, bungee thing, I think. Maybe I can actually- I think I can actually- you know what? Let me just do this, because I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Or not. There we go. 
Yeah, I I have that disabled, or I can I can go there in those areas. That's probably why I was I fell so low as Sandy. Actually, come to think of it, that's probably why because of the triggers and whatnot. Okay. You know what? I'll go do. I'll go do this first. It would be nice if there was a way that I could go up there without having to spend it. Unless there is and I'm unaware of it, but... God, sometimes I hate these funnels because... That happens. I hate that sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. Normally, I get that on the first try every time, but then whenever I replay, I have to worry about whether or not I do next time. It is so easy. This is the part where someone says, well, clearly not if you can't get it, but you know. It is easy. It's like super easy, and it's just not happening. Let me try on this side at least. There we go. I'm gonna have to use that side every time I do it now. Oh my god. Nah, I'm, I'm fully just gonna, like... Yeah, that's valid. So, do you guys come here often? If not, that's totally fine, because, uh... I'm doing that again. I'm hoping, at the very least, it keeps the other one pressed. It should do. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah. Nice. I think. Nah. Nah. That's usually easier. Again, I have to clarify. This one's easy, just because, you know, there's nothing in the way. And then the other one's easy as well. Uh, normally, I do that. Yeah. I'm doing great, I'd like to thank. This, this challenge, you know. I've got no complaints about it so far, to be honest. Again, it, re it really, it really sucks that pineapple is pineapple, but... It's the only real exception that you can make, and I think it is actually a valid exception. Yeah. Sup, bitch. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Which, to be fair, it never <laughs> usually does, but... I think I'm rushing. I shouldn't rush. Yeah, I... That is actually a really good point. I should really avoid getting the buttons. Not like it matters, though, but... Because it's not going to benefit me anyway, really, is it? But... Let 
me get this button, and then we should be great. Nice. There is a sock in the middle of the Mermelair area. So I'm just gonna casually get that. Nice. Yeah, and then that button's required for prawn, which, you know... Again, I'm... A cruise boost would be required. That's my main... That's my main thought process. I think it would be required, to be honest. And then once we're up here, ooh, that's also a really good point. There's a clam that leads me to a sock, so I can't get that. Correct. I can't get that when I get there, which is fine, honestly, but... I don't know, you could probably get it. I don't know. Again, like... Hmm. I'm not gonna try and get it, just because, but... You know. Ballroom, let's see if we can do it on the first try, because that seems to be something I want to do every single time. Thanks, crabs. God, I remember last time I was in here, which was basically last week, I was failing this this starting area every single time, and I hate it. I don't even know why I was failing. Like, goddamn. Like, the ball would just stop and end up going slower, and it would fall off and fucking... You'd think muscle memory would take over, but I guess not. There is a sock up here as well, so I'm gonna get that. I'm doing great so far, but these are the easier parts. The problem... The problem with ballroom is literally the final part here. A battle player's worst nightmare, usually. I swear to god, if I do it on the first try, there's no way. I fucking did it. I fucking did it. The funny thing is, I've definitely done it on the first try before. I'm pretty sure I didn't do it on the first try until I was like 15. Somewhere around there, but holy shit. I did that on the first try. You know what? I'm happy about that. Who cares? I've done that more than once. That's an achievement. I, 
think I think I actually man I think usually I manage to do the kelp slide on the first try as well. Nowadays, which a, a slide is easier than this, you know? Like fucking hell. Right. Okay. Um. One of these is gonna be the cylinder thingies. The other one's gonna be prawn. I can't get that one for obvious reasons. Because one of them is at the power cylinders, which, you know. You know what? I don't know, actually. I want to. I kind of want to grab the socks, but... Yeah, literally. I abs You know what? I absolutely love rolling ballroom. I absolutely adore the actual like room and whatnot. Welcome to the dark depths of rock bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir features. There's a strat here as well with the sleepy time robot, isn't there? Which, I am just gonna say this now, normally I wouldn't give a shit. I remember I did actually do it once recently though, and I kinda liked it. I'm tempted to do it again. Because the thing is, you have to go up here, but then you have to... Do that. There we go, nice. To be fair, that is actually like a really easy strat, though, isn't it? It's you're, you have to depend on the damage boost, which thankfully. It's a. I mean, it's a really simple task, isn't it? So. Speaking of which, 8,000 shiny objects. We're nearly at 9,000. I'm pretty sure the overall amount needed for the crab spats is supposed to be like, I want to say 42, 44,000 or something. No, wait, it's probably more than that, isn't it? I think in a speed run, it's normally, skee-ball abuse normally gives you about like 48,000, I think, which honestly it might be that, come to think of it. I'm gonna, you know what, I know there's socks there, but I'm gonna skip out on them for now. There's a spatula right here, so I'm gonna get it. I basically, I've pretty much just skipped on a good amount of rock bottom, haven't I? Get rid of you now. I've basically just skipped out on a good amount. I haven't spent a single shiny object and you still wouldn't have enough for like half of the crab spats. Yeah, I, yeah, there's, yeah, no, I, there's definitely gonna be like, uh, they got if the intent- if I had to spend some- If I had to spend some that- yeah, no, there would still have to be some form of grinding involved, wouldn't there? So... At this point, though, I, I pretty much have to depend on the crab spats a bit though, because I get the feeling that they're going to come in clutch here. Oh yeah, I can't do that yet, can I? Like, the Patrick spatulas are going to come in handy. Nice. 
Nice. Nah, I actually really liked that. God damn. Sandy's gonna have a moment in a bit. Do you guys have a favorite level in this game? Genuinely curious. I think mine's gotta be Goolagoon, to be honest. I think it's, you know what, I think it's actually like, it is definitely Go Lagoon, but I think, I think the, t the, the first three levels of Jellyfish Fields, Downtown, and Go Lagoon, they're, I think they are the top contenders, to be honest, I'm just going to say that now. You really liked Dream? Dream is, Dream is fantastic, dude. I, you know what, I love Dream, I think I like, if I, yeah, no, I, Zeppi said it, but if I had to choose one in Hub 3, I would probably have to choose Graveyard, maybe, either Graveyard or Forest, just because, I will say though, just because, but, I, the only reason why I choose graveyard is because of the pirate ships. What the fuck is going on? Sweet. Nice. Like, I I remember as a kid, I would always go back to the pirate ships in, in graveyard. I just loved that area so much. Like, the funny thing is, I feel like I don't have a good enough reason to constantly go back to the, the pirate ships. But six-year-old me found a reason to do that. You know, so. Yeah, well, lucky for you, I'm not coming back here. Um. I think Kelp Forest is actually really nice, to be honest. I love, like, the... I love the soundtrack for Kelp. Again, Kelp Caves is 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 like a I feel like you kind of have to ignore Kelp Caves because of what it is, but otherwise like even then like I don't like Kelp Kelp Caves as much as everywhere else, but I still kind of like Kelp Caves, which is weird. The music in battle, just in general, is great. I really couldn't pick it. That is also really valid. That is really valid. Um. Soundtrack. In terms of soundtrack, you know what? I think as a kid, I wasn't a fan of Downtown. Now that I'm older, I vibe with it so much more. I kind of vibe with downtown a lot nowadays. I love downtown. I think my favorite soundtrack in the entire game still has to be Goolagoon to match with my favorite level overall, but... Um, yeah, no, I, it's, it's those for me, to be honest. I think the downside is... Rock Bottom doesn't get that much love, but I also, I can see why. Because with Rock Bottom, I love Rock Bottom. I think everything works in Rock Bottom, but there's a lot. I, I would never choose Rock Bottom, is the thing. Like, uh, the soundtrack works for it. I, I would never willingly listen to it unless I was listening to the whole soundtrack for the game, but, you know. And again, with Kelp, like, you know, I think K 
Kelp. I think Kelp is actually up there. Kelp is up there. Even even Kelp Caves for a soundtrack, actually. Kelp is up there for, for that. The FBB just has so many good soundtracks. I guess it can movie movie as well has the. Um, I think movie has the whole thing about the soundtracks as well. To be honest, for the most part, I obviously I love the sliding. I love Patty Wagon, Sandwich Driving, whatever you want to call it. I love. Um, What am I trying to say? I think Trench is good. It's not the best, but I like it. I think... I think it's... I think it's Shell City Dead Ahead that I really like. Like, I think Shell City Dead Ahead has steel drums, which... I don't know why, but I have a soft spot for steel drums, I think. Um, it is, I think it is mainly, like, the Thug Tug is actually really good, come to think of it. Um, so actually comment on what you said, though, iPi. Yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, I agree with you. I think that's the weird thing about them, though. You don't have enough of a reason to dislike the soundtracks, is the thing. Like, you, like, yeah, you listen to them and you enjoy them. Like, you don't have enough of a reason to dislike them. Like, if they were, if they were that bad, they, you know... I wouldn't give them the time of day, is the thing, I don't think, but... Yeah, I agree with that. Shell City... Shell City's a, a banger, 100%. It, it, the funny thing is, it does not have a reason to be a banger, but it's a banger, you know? God, it's, it's weird to think that in Rehydrated, these walls are just like... Covered with models of people in the game and whatnot. It's weird to think that. I think on that wall over there with all the sickies, I think that area has Constreet. I could be wrong. But it's a it's a weird little addition they made, which I I don't know, I kinda like it. I'm trying to think of like other soundtracks, cause obviously sandwich driving repeats itself in multiple areas. The slide music does the same. Um, I like the Fog Tug music. I I don't have a good enough reason to dislike it. Uh, Disco Floor. I love Disco Floor. I think Disco Floor is great. Um. You know what? I think I think No Cheese was all right as a soundtrack. I think No Cheese was all right. Yeah, no, in Rehydrated, this area, I yeah, I quite liked it in like, Rehydrated. I can agree. I nearly fell there. God damn it. Oh, I can't do that. I I was so close to buying that actually. 
Okay, I have a question. I'd imagine you, iPi, can probably answer it more than anyone. When it comes to this bungee, does the stuff spawn after I buy it? Because if it does, I'm kind of locked out of this. Because I feel like I should be able to just see the stuff that's down there. Unless it's on unless it only appears once you actually ride the bungee, but I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna assume it's not there. Rock bottom. I don't give enough love to rock bottom. It's it's such a nice level. Deloaded, fair enough, honestly, yeah. That's a shame. I you know what, we'll move on from it then. Even though it's just a sock, I, I probably could have abused that to be honest, but whatever. Or, you know, if they were there and I was able to see them or whatever, but, you know. Speaking of which, I'm very surprised at the progress we've made today. hasn't even been two hours yet, like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I know that, you know, the funny thing is we're cutting off a good chunk of the game here, but, jeez. I'm very much okay with it, though. Um. Hold on a second, chat. Um. Okay, I am good to continue. Sweet. Sup, bitch? Yeah, I should have expected that. You know, I'll pass then, shall I? Yeah, where? You know what? We've absolutely nailed it here. We've nailed it. We have absolutely nailed it in rock bottom today. Speaking of soundtracks, actually, I, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there, and I've already said it ages ago, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I do not like what they did with Industrial Park and Rehydrated, purely for the soundtrack. They changed it a little bit, and I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of just tolerate it and move on, but I, I don't know, that, I don't like it. I, I still don't like it, to be honest. Mm. 
What's up, Plank? And then I pretty much have, like, two more spats after this, actually, although I still need the last piece of art. There we go. We're at 11,000. Let's go. We are doing fantastic. I don't know about anyone else, but we're doing great. Uh, we basically got everything in rock bottom. There's two socks I can still get, but otherwise, you know. Two, maybe three, actually. I mean, I don't know whether the third one would be, but... that. Nice job. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna go back to Sandy just because. You know what? I completely forgot to mention the slide music actually. The slide music is amazing. When I was a kid, I would literally go back down slides just so I could hear the music. It's fantastic. I don't care what anyone says. It is incredible. There we go. I don't know where the last one would be, actually. I... You know what? I probably did skip out on one somewhere that was very clearly easy to get, but I'm actually trying to think. I don't know where I would have gotten. Um, I don't know where I would have gotten the next one, actually, but... Yeah. Yeah. It pretty much is, isn't it? Yeah. I think... In JFO2, when we were there earlier, I... I looped the ambush music, didn't I? At least I think so. I still don't know where this sock would be, but... I mean, I'm not looking to do this 100%, but... I'm just thinking, to be honest. I'm just having a pond. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. Okay, right, so I can totally... How did I miss that? Any point in the game where you can hear the sli slide music loop naturally? Um... I I would assume Sand Mountain as well, to be honest, because I can't help but feel like there's a slide in Sand Mountain where, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like in Sand Mountain there is a slide where you get to the finish line and even when you stop sliding it still plays it. I can't help but feel like that's a thing somewhere. I, I would probably have to say Sand Mountain, but, I mean... Yeah, there's not much I can do here, but I'm gonna get stuff anyway. I... I'm gonna have to get Patrick's socks or the spatulas for them, aren't I? I'm gonna have to do that, which I'm okay with. Who cares? A cruise boost might actually help me out anyway, so there's that. Also, you yeah, know, 
that spatula might be doable since uh, I did the taxi pad thing at the beginning. I should be able to do that. Shit. I did it anyway. Let's go. God, I've also just realized about Sand Mountain is that I feel I'm missing out on, like, how many socks are in Sand Mountain? Ten. I'm missing out on, a t on eight socks in Sand Mountain. I'm missing out on... I'm going to be missing out on eight of them. That's going to... Okay. Right. I, there's nothing else I can do here. I don't know why I'm warping to my own location, but... Gotta love the hand disable, honestly. Uh, I can't do the slides. Nah, I'm... It's whatever, but god fucking damn it, dude. Nah, because I, I actually love doing the slides in Sand Mountain. They're, they're like... Sand Mountain is one of my favorite levels for that reason. Uh, I mean, if you want, Zeppi, I can probably check it. There's nothing wrong with my nose today. Fuck off. I found this to be a thing where if I talk for so long, my nose kind of just starts to like get like congested or whatever, if that makes sense. It really sucks, but I kind of move past it. Yeah, I. You know what? Yeah, let's just do the boss. Screw it. There's two places where Sandy can talk to Squidward, but they are both so out of the way. Yeah. In Sand Mountain, it's... You you don't really have a reason to do it. Is the thing. Like, they never give you a good enough reason to go back to the beginning of Sandy, so... I did watch a tutorial on how to do this fast earlier, so maybe I can... Oh yeah, no. Uh, graveyards are valid as well, yeah. You're actually right about that, holy shit. I'd imagine there's some, like, um, Patrick... ...locations as well, right? I have no idea what the benefit is of, of going into the... ...into the waste, but, you know. Unless it's just a way to pass time, but... I love how you can just stand here. Yeah, no, I probably should have jumped there, that's fine. I also learned earlier that... I learned earlier that, um... I learned earlier that the hitches in Industrial Park summon the boxes. Which is really interesting, because I never actually realized that. You can bring Patrick to the Mermelair entrance and go to Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy, but they literally have no text box for Pat- Oh, shit. I mean, I guess that's understandable, because... I don't think it's that easy to get Patrick there in the first place. I mean, you know, 
that's why the the melons there that's why the teeter totters there just in case you do get stuck there but yeah no I, that's that's fair actually yeah Yeah, it's it's so uncommon that the the average player wouldn't like you know where it wouldn't happen for the average player. But you know what? I think you have to commend Heavy Iron for putting it there anyway, just in case. Like they were aware of an issue, and back in the day you couldn't fucking update games like you can now. So. God, imagine if the original BFBB was released today. Holy shit. Do you guys reckon there'd be a DLC for OG BFBB if it was released today? Imagine BFBB with a DLC. Fucking hell. It, had, it would have no reason to have a DLC. Although, you know what, I guess, like, the remake kind of answers that question for us, because the most we had on the side was multiplayer, which, you know, barely anything happened with it. Like, the most we had was multiplayer, and then we got a new game, so I, I guess, no, they probably wouldn't release a DLC for it. But, having said that, having said that, uh, Purple Lamp and Heavy Iron are both, like, different sort of devs, aren't they? So, I'm not paying attention, holy shit. That's supposed to be a strat I can do here, I don't know, though. No, you know what? I'm gonna respawn, just because I wanna... I think I'm supposed to go to the left. That's fine. I think by the time he stops spinning, he's supposed to be around this area. Normally you're supposed to be on the corner of the thing- on the- of the map though, never mind. And then you kind of just go this way or something. There we go. Expecting that, but I am supposed to stay on this corner, I think. Unless I'm supposed to go all the way around. Nah, I actually don't know. Fuck it, I'll just do it. I think I am supposed to go this way, but. Got it right. Apparently the movement for this fight in a speedrun is supposed to be so fucking random. Like, you know. I never normally fail this so much. I actually don't know why I'm failing it, but hey ho. One. There we go.
We did it. Nice. We have cruise bubble now, which means we can, if we want to, cruise boost. See, the worst part is, if I was actually able to do the chum ball strat, I would not have to do this right now. That's the worst part. Which again, I don't, I don't mind not knowing it, because I, I know the strat has skipped to hub 3 anyway, but... It's just nice to be able to access hub 3 without having to, like... Once, once you realize that you can do stuff like this, it makes you realize you no longer have limits. But at the same time, you kind of still do, because, you know, right. Uh, at the same time, you kind of still do, just because, like, you know, abilities and stuff. And stuff. What's up, Blue Island? I did say cruise boost. Yeah, I did. Welcome... Please do enjoy your stay. We don't have much to offer in terms of food, but you know, the entertainment is on your screen and I, you know what, I do my best, so enjoy your stay. I think normally, I bet I'm not going to be able to do it now. You watch. I I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to, like, get the level that I want. You know what? I don't think that's bad. Up until, up until last night, I was actually, like, able to, um... Up until last night, I wasn't able to do any other sort of fucking cruise boost, but now I can sort of do an extended one, or whatever you want to call it. Like, you know what? I also did that within a good amount of tries, so I'll take it. Like, I wasn't expecting myself to get that so quickly, holy shit. I'm, I'm actually really impressed with myself. I should also probably clarify, I'm not a speedrunner. I'm probably never going to be a speedrunner, but you know what? Oh yeah, right, I need to... That's fine, I can just do that. I I just like to enjoy myself, you know? I, I do actually use a lot of strats in my casual playthroughs, but... I normally do this to get to the spatula faster, although I don't actually know if it is faster, because you probably get there faster by walking up to the wall and doing the thing, but, you know. Either way, 46 spats, we, we definitely did something here. We definitely did something here, so, you know what? That, I will say this, that was a good cruise boost a few minutes ago, I'll take it. Granted, it's not on the same level as what an actual speedrunner might do, but it served its purpose, to be honest. 
Isn't there supposed to be boss music here? Or did it skip the boss music because of the fact that I skipped the cutscene? Because I swear I normally hear it. Unnecessary. Can I even wait? Oh my god, I can use this. Oh my god. I mean, I kind of knew that already, but... Yeah, get wrecked, your majesty. Jesus Christ. I apologize for making those noises, by the way. I have been talking a lot this stream. And it normally happens when I talk a lot, which sucks, but hey. Although, to be fair, most streams it doesn't happen, so I'm not too mad at it, but hey-ho. We move. I didn't want that to happen. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I remember... I remember you, Zeppi. You said... You're locked out of like 17 spats or some shit. You know what? I I don't think 17 is a terrible number. Since you need the 75. Although, actually no, wait. Am I even mathing correctly here? That doesn't take me to Squidward, does it? No, it doesn't. But whatever. Um, although, actually, no, I think 75 plus 15 is 100, so I don't know, actually. But. Valid. I, I was going to say, I'm hoping it's just an estimate, because, to be honest, now that I've done the maths, I'm hoping that I have enough when I get there. As we still got to beat the game. There's two socks here, by the way. I've just realized. I can easily get those. I can get two socks here, which is great. And I could also get a sock in JFO3. And I don't know where else, to be honest, but oh well. Go. You know, we were we were talking about mods earlier. I am not gonna lie. I can't believe I've just remembered this, but I would love a mod where you play as a robot. Maybe not one of the BFBB robots, just because, you know, that might be difficult, but I think it would be great, like, you, it would be great if you could play as, like, a custom modeled robot, and then instead of fighting robots, you fight, like, citizens of Bikini Bottom or something. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think... I think I've definitely mentioned it before. I've probably mentioned it in the modding server. I also, I think I might have mentioned it in a private call with someone as well, but I, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, I think it is actually a pretty good idea.
And then I think someone else said that you could create a mod where you play as a rogue robot. Where you're a robot just fighting the other robots. But then there's not much of a mod there. Because at that point it's basically just a, play a, a model swap. Which, you know, model swaps are fantastic. Especially in terms of this game. But, you know... Like, I'd love an actual, like, story mod that, like, sort of follows that concept. Speaking of which, an extra sock. Ah, goddamn. We're doing great work today, holy shit. Um, where can I get? Two socks. Um, I can get those. Yep. I don't even know which one that one is. Um,. No, you know what that one is? Over the moat. That's over the moat. I can't get that one. Never mind. Um, I can't really get that. Let's try going there. Screw it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, but I want to see if I can. That's not enough, is it? I'm just going to say that now, but that's not enough to do what I want to do. I don't think it's that far off either, actually, but... Yeah, no, that's definitely not. Although, I don't know. Maybe it is, but... I'm not going to reach it, but I want to see what happens. Did it! We did it! That was easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Do you know what? You've got no complaints from me. You got no complaints from me. I thought that was going to be so much more difficult. I thought it was going to be so much more further out than that, but we'll take it. Yep, let's go. Yep. Give me, give me a thing. Thank you. Last time I played this casually, it did not... The, the hammers did not bless me much. Ah, oh, I missed it. Okay, that's fine. Excuse me. Sick. 
You know what? I did pretty great there, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't need the buttons, and we still beat, uh, Prawn. That is fantastic. Uh, screw that spatula, man. I don't even know what that is. What is that? That's the power... Uh, that's the power thingy for Barnacle Boy. That's a good point. Again, I don't think we can do much else in earlier bits of the game now. 50 spats, though. Halfway to 100. I'll take it, I guess. Again, a lot of... Ooh, actually... Nah, that's a good point, actually. I don't know if I can access much of Spongebob's dream. There are strats I can use there, like getting to Squidward's dream might be easy, but other than that, I mean... Um... I think it's Super Bounce that I would need to consider. That's easy. That's easy if you can make it past the clams without platforms. Anything in, in Sandy's Dream is basically free. Okay. Um, 50 spats in, though. I think we've done great today. I will say this though, I think I will leave the rest for tomorrow. I know I could probably beat this by the end of today, but I want to leave it for a bit to be honest, so uh uh I will... Yeah, no. You know what? When I'm actually playing this game on stream, it is so fucking fun, dude. I'm not even doing that much different compared to a casual playthrough, but it has been seriously awesome today. I love it. I I appreciate you, Zeppi, for staying in here the whole time. Obviously, iPi, if you're still in here, thank you as well. Blue Island, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, it was your first time chatting, and you know what? You know, you're pretty great as well, and I appreciate it. We're gonna... I think we are gonna continue tomorrow, because I do actually, like... I want to see if I can do it, you know? I think we're gonna do really well, though, but... Thanks a lot for joining me today, everyone, and I will... See y'all tomorrow. Peace out.